Apple might actually be doing what's best for its customers for once. Hyundai shows off its Ionic 5, which looks really, really good. And the Perseverance robot persevered to show us some video footage of it landing on Mars. Let's get in to the hottest tech news that's on the internet right now, my friends. I'm your Brett host. Welcome to Hot News. Let's jump right on into it after you hit that like button and get subscribed to stay up to date on all of the tech news that's going on. It's just smash. You got to go down to the like button and smash it. OK, thanks, friends. Appreciate that. Now let's get into Apple smashing expectations and potentially bringing back features that they killed off in a way that would be unprecedented and them actually saying to the consumer, hey, that thing we took away from you, you might actually have needed it, especially on pro lineups where, you know, pro kind of usually means professional. So there's a new report coming out that there's a new Mac form factor coming out for the MacBook Pro that's going to feature HDMI and SD card slots. Now, it doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to get more USB ports and you're probably still going to need a dongle if you want to have that extra USB-A. But the report is saying that not only is it going to get Apple Silicon, but this updated MacBook Pro will have professional features. Finally, the MacBook Pro 16 inch was supposed to have this. People wanted that and it was kind of rumored that it was coming out, which you can put as much stock in this, I suppose. But there's more indication that Apple will actually be reverting and just making sense, just giving people plugs and features and ports and things that they want. Do it, Apple. Also, bring back the unibody chassis, please. The, from the like 2012 MacBook Pros, please. But a feature that Apple's not getting to first is having a MagSafe battery bank that's gonna go on the back of your phone. Anchor's gonna be the first company to come out with it, launching on March 3rd. The 5,000 milliamp hour MagSafe battery bank is gonna launch for $40 and will attach via magnet on the back. But since it's not an Apple first party accessory, it's only gonna charge at five watts instead of 15. But as you can see in this picture right here, it'll just, it'll hang on via magnet. It's just <laughs> suction cup. That's how magnets work with that vicious sound. But what's vicious is the look of this new Ionic 5 announced by Hyundai. I absolutely love this thing. Solar roof. Look at those rims. Honestly, that that's a dent in the side, but I, it's audacious and I actually love it because of that. It doesn't look like a Tesla ripoff. So anyways, the Ionic 5 of this electric vehicle is going to have quite a few features that seem to be pretty good. So you have the regular range as well as the long range. 77 kilowatt hour battery pack in the US for the long range, 72.6 elsewhere in the world, but around 300 miles is what they're quoting at. And the long range is going to have 306 horsepower, zero to 60 in 5.2 seconds. So all of that sounds pretty decent. It's also going to have 350 50 kilowatt fast charging, which can get you 10 to 80% in 18 minutes and 62 miles range in just five minutes, as well as vehicle to load charging, which will allow you to charge phones, e-bikes and other stuff up to 3.6 kilowatts. And apparently it's going to be around the size of a RAV4, but be oh so much more luxurious. Look at the inside of this thing with the reclining front seats. That's absolutely, I love that. You could take a nap while it drives you everywhere because it is going to have some autonomous driving features if we can take a term from Tesla and how they want to quote autopilot essentially it's just going to have lane keep assist and all of that good stuff but the interior looks like they're fusing current hyundai cars with the touchscreen of the future i actually really like this implementation versus other things that i've seen it doesn't look like they're knocking anybody off so it's going to have a flat 12 inch digital instrument cluster along with a 12 inch touchscreen infotainment display powered by hyundai's blue link and you could just see more pictures of the interior here with the reclining front seats with foot rest look at that foot where you, your feet can that's amazing, especially while you're charging. That's going to be lovely. So release date and pricing not yet known. It's expected to go between thirty and forty thousand dollars, which is not a bad price for what I'm seeing here and will be available in the first half of 2021 elsewhere in the world in the second half, likely here in the US. I actually really like this. This is the first implementation of a kind of mass consumer electric car coming from a company not named Tesla that actually looks like they're trying. That's I love the Mustang Mach-E does not look like Ford's trying. It looks like they're half assing their attempt into their first electric vehicle where they're like, OK, in order to sell this, we need to use a brand name that people know and they recognize and they love. So we're going to call it a Mustang, but we're not going to make it look like a Mustang. We're going to make it look like kind of a bastardized Ford Escape. OK, but we're going to put the Mustang brand on it because that's how you're going to sell this. Hyundai 
got me sold on these images. And there's some new images and footage coming out from the new Model S refresh. There was a video posted on Twitter where somebody actually got into one of these bad boys, showing off a bunch of the features that we're expecting to see, such as the perforated back seats, that rear screen right there, as well as the horizontal screen that's going in the front right there, as well as just to point out for a quick second, you can see the touch buttons being illuminated while the car's on since there are no stocks. You can see the turn signals here on the left, as well as the autopilot features, as well as horn here on the right. Then you have this screen which showing the low voltage battery remaining 87% because Tesla has said that they're replacing the 12 volt battery from a lead acid to lithium ion, which is gonna make it so that it lasts the lifetime of the car, as opposed to having that changed out every once in a while. But this is actually looking like they're rolling out with this. Again, no yoke steering wheel, but a lot of the updates coming out through just leaked images. And the leaked strategies of Lucid Motors is now official. It wasn't ever leaked. They're going public before they're actually selling their cars because they're merging with Churchill Capital Group, which will allow them to go public as a company before they launch anything, saying that Lucid is going public to accelerate into the next phase of our growth as we work towards the launch of our new pure electric luxury sedan, essentially just trying to get that cash infusion because trying to mass produce cars ain't cheap. And Google's gonna apparently be cheap because there's new renders of the Pixel 5a coming out which shows that it's the pixel 4a 5g save on development costs at google good stuff but you can save my eyes with dark mode on google maps only on android right now so that bums me out a little bit but dark mode on everything google's been doing this and i very much appreciate it I, yes dark mode all of the flipping things and they also announced that they're going to have games coming to android auto like trivia crack jeopardy song quiz i don't play games with me while i'm driving okay unless it's a tesla and it's driving themselves and i don't use android auto in a tesla i use the tesla stuff in a tesla i don't know and nasa uses their own software when they're landing freaking rovers over on different planets the perseverance landing has now been revealed in a video we'll leave links in the video description for you to actually watch the whole thing but it's just harrowing to see a car landing and on a different planet. And I want you to plant your eyeballs elsewhere because this episode of Hot News is over. Why don't you check out the first episode of Hot News today right there in case you missed any other episodes this week. You check it out in this playlist right over here. I've been your Brett host. Thank you so much for watching. Hit the like button, get subscribed to Hot News to stay up to date on the hottest tech news that's on the internet. And I'll see you tomorrow. Cheers.